Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's food vlog, we are going to Mizumi. It's a restaurant in the Wind Casino in Las Vegas. And this is our first time there. We're having dinner with my family. We are celebrating Mother's Day. So today I'm going to show you guys what we ordered, the price, and if it was worth the money. And yeah, so I'm just going to take you guys with me. And if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Trish Easton Travels. Also use my hashtag T Easton Travels if you want to share your post with me. I'll come like a comment on your photo. If you guys suggest a video down below, I'll give you a shout out. So maybe like like a restaurant review you guys want me to review a restaurant in las vegas or you guys want me to try something or try to make something just comment down below and yeah let's just get started with today's video so here we are in the wind casino and we are walking to mizumi restaurant it is our first time there and before i start today's video i want to say a big thank you to dior for treating us to mother's day dinner so here's mizumi they have a beautiful chandelier right in front of their restaurant and this was a saturday so they open at 5 30 and the host is bringing us to our table so the teppanyaki like table or grills is on the left side this is the main dining room where if you just want to eat like regular sushi or any other regular dishes and i just love the scenery it's so beautiful it's like a japanese flower garden or like kind of forest like i love the waterfall it's so beautiful and here is the mizumi teppanyaki spring omakase menu so for starters everyone gets their own plate it's not sharing because it's a small plate of three dishes you get the yellowtail hamachi carpaccio there's the wagyu gyoza and also the uh, japanese tiger prawn which i will show you guys later it's delicious and then for entree everyone chooses their own as well you could choose like meat beef or lobster or seafood and then for dessert the chef chooses like his own dessert of that day and it was so good trust me you guys and it's also cocktails there's beer menu there's the wine menu and in a moment i will show you guys that my parents they actually got beer so my dad and aunt, they both got regular lager, and my grandpa got black lager. And aside from the teppanyaki, we also ordered the sashimi plate. So it has salmon, tuna, otoro, there's scallop, snapper, and yellowtail, I believe. There's one more, but I forgot the name of it. And I don't know what's inside the bowl up there because it was really loud and I couldn't tell what he said. But you guys, this sashimi plate was delicious. The sashimi is so fresh and salmon is my favorite fish. It's so good. I love dipping it in spicy mayo. I don't really like dipping in like soy sauce and wasabi. I just like spicy mayo the best. And it was so good. It was like the first bite and it was delicious. We are definitely going to come here again to try just like sushi, sashimi, like sushi rolls. It was so good and here I am dipping my salmon in the spicy mayo and oh you guys it was delicious i just want to eat more but we had teppanyaki that day so couldn't eat too much then i tried the scallop and you guys the scallop was so good it's like you know sashimi scallop raw scallop i love it so much i also dipped it in the spicy mayo and i am obsessed if we weren't having teppanyaki i would have like eaten so many scallops now i'm trying the yellowtail it looks so fresh and the cut is so thin the perfect size and of course i am dipping it in spicy mayo and it was so good like everything was melting in my mouth delicious delicious i'm obsessed you guys and then also i tried the tuna tuna isn't my favorite but i tried it anyways I still don't really like the texture of it, but it was fresh. There was like no fishy smell or fishy taste. It was still really good, even though tuna isn't my favorite. I gave it to my dad. But overall, I love the sashimi plate a lot. It was really cool and pretty. So here is the appetizer, the starters. Like I said, everyone gets their own plate. You get the wagyu um, gyoza. So it has the wagyu beef inside. There's also the tiger prawn and the yellowtail hamachi carpaccio i believe and the gyoza was so good it was so crunchy and juicy because there's like the sauce on the bottom of the little dish or the tray and then i tried the yellowtail and it was okay i love the sauce that was in it it's a little bit different and everything is edible since it's like art so you can eat anything that you want on the whole plate and i also dipped it in of course spicy mayo and it was so good i just love spicy mayo sauce a lot and then i tried the tiger prawn it was so good and like a little bit thick and chewy i love it a lot and it was like kind of sweet as well i also dipped it in the spicy mayo sauce and also the 
uh, sauce for the yellowtail. It was so good trying all like the different flavors. I also dipped it in the gyoza sauce as well. And then here is our chef. He's showing us our order to make sure everything is correct. So the four of us got Japanese A5 Wagyu beef and then two of us got the Hokkaido snow beef. We also got lobster on the side to share for everyone. And then he's pouring us our sauce. So the middle one, I think, was like a sesame mustard sauce. And then there are two more sauces, which I can't exactly remember. I think it might be ponzu. And then there's like, um, like a barbecue kind of sauce. I can't remember, but they all taste really good. And then here he's cooking vegetables. So there's like onions, mushrooms, zucchini, bell pepper, and I think like Japanese carrot. Ready? So our chef Jose, he's really nice and really funny. He's going to cook our lobster first. So he added like pepper, salt, garlic, and a lot of butter. It was so good and soft. It wasn't even overcooked. So the vegetables finished cooking and he divided it evenly to everyone. And you guys, the vegetable was so good and I loved how it was seasoned, like perfection, you guys. So first I tried the zucchini and I love zucchini. It was really hot, but I also tried dipping it in like one of the ponzu or like the barbecue kind of sauces. And it was so good. All the sauces are delicious. I love the mushrooms, the zucchini, especially zucchini because it's kind of crunchy. And I love it a lot. The taste is amazing. So I was trying all the sauces to see which one I like the most, but they all taste pretty good. The middle one, the sesame mustard, is actually made for like beef. And then we all got our own soup and they also gave us pickled radishes. It was really good trying like new different things. Except I only tried two radishes because I wasn't sure of the smell, so I was afraid of trying it. So first I tried the lobster and you guys, it was so delicious and so soft. Like I said, it wasn't overcooked. Jose cooked it perfectly. Jose is the best chef there, you guys. If you guys come, make sure to ask for Jose if you can. So here I am. I'm going to try the soup. This one is red miso soup. And it didn't really taste like anything Like I could remember. It didn't have much of a flavor to it. And then I tried the pickled vegetable. So this was like a yellow vegetable or like radish. It kind of reminded me of a Korean radish that I tried eating with uh, with noodles. So that one I already tried before. It was delicious. Then I tried this white one, which is like an onion. And this one I already tried before. It's a regular Vietnamese radish dish. So I already knew how it tasted. And here's our chef. He's cooking our beef now. So there are two pieces of the Hokkaido beef snow and also four pieces of the Japanese A5 Wagyu beef. And we wanted medium rare. Let me try by itself first and then I'll do the sauce. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, but it's really, really good. Oh it's the my best god. Thing. It's so soft. Actually, that's why we. So here I am trying the Hokkaido beef. And you guys, it was delicious. It was so soft. It like melted in your mouth. The beef actually has a lot more fat than the A5 Wagyu. But this one is so good. It's so soft. It's not chewy at all. I also tried it with the sesame mustard sauce. And it was, oh, you guys, I really want to eat it again. Definitely a must try. And then here is the Japanese A5. We already tried Japanese A5 Wagyu beef already, so we already know how it tasted. It was actually a little bit more chewy than the, the Hokkaido snow beef. So if you want something a little bit softer, a little bit more fatty, then I would recommend the Hokkaido snow beef. But if you want something a little bit more tough, however, we did get medium rare. It was still really soft and good. That is the A5 Wagyu. Wow. Okay, we're going. We're going. Right. So some of us got noodles and then the rest of us, most of us got the garlic fried noodles. So he's going to crack four eggs. So here are the noodles. Everyone got a little tiny bit because we are all sharing. And it has some cabbage in there, vegetables, and then there he is cooking the garlic fried rice. Right. Okay. Okay. Still <laughs> so 
So here is the garlic fried rice. I have to say that the fried rice is actually kind of dry. I think it would taste much better if there was like a little bit more garlic or maybe some more butter. Overall, the I prefer the noodles over the fried rice. I think the noodles were more flavorful. And the fried rice, I think it just depends if you're more of a rice or a noodle person. And I also got two more pieces of the scallop because I was addicted and it was so good. So two pieces of scallop is $9. And then finally for dessert, it was a huge macaroon ice cream or cream um, with raspberry. And it was so good, you guys. I love green tea a lot. The outside was so crunchy and then the inside was so sweet and delicious. So the green tea cream balances really well with the raspberry since raspberry is a little bit sour. So they both tasted so good together. So overall, I give Mizumi a 5 star out of 5 stars. I will definitely come here again for the sashimi and sushi. I loved all the dishes. Everything was so good. Our chef was so nice and funny. Shout out to Chef Jose. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Trish Easton Travels. Use my hashtag T Easton Travels to share your post with me. Suggest a video down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!